What's up, gang? It is like 5.30 in the morning. December 15th, 2021 to be exact. And today is my birthday. So I'm just up getting ready for work. I don't usually put on makeup for work, but I want to be cute today because it's my birthday and why not? So this is just going to be a quick little get ready with me more so like natural makeup tutorial routine. So I've already washed my face, moisturized, and uh, I normally use fresh products, but lately I've been using Dermalogica. Um, that's pretty much like my backup skincare uh, stuff that I use when I run out of my fresh items. So I've got a re-up on that. But yeah, I just use the, the, uh, the face wash and then I use my Mario Badesco, I just used the, uh, what is it, the uh, toner, and then just moisturize. So yeah, and then I'm going to prime my face with this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer because my skin gets kind of oily. So I use this, and it works really well for my skin, and I don't get all shiny in my T-zone throughout the day, and my makeup stays in place. And then I also, I'm going to be using my NARS. Um, this is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is bomb for oily skin. I love it. So, yeah. But without further ado, let's get into it. I probably sound like a man. My voice is super deep. It's, like I said, like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to go in with my... Um, trusty old Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil and I am using the color dark brown I barely have any eyebrows but I brushed a little bit of hair that I have up so yeah I know I've been MIA and there's really no explanation for that um for me like around this time of year so yeah people get seasonal depression and i happen to be you know one of those people um it comes and goes it go comes and in, in, you know small little splurts or whatever and then i'll be fine it's like it's not the kind where i'm just like feeling like i don't want to do anything but it's hard for me to get going sometimes throughout the day like, I'll get up and do what I have to do. Like, get up, get ready for work. I'll go to the gym. That helps a lot. Um, relieve my stress or whatever. And, um, so, yeah. But, like, it can make me lazy. And when you're a naturally creative person, and, like, like I have a YouTube channel or whatever and I've got other social media platforms like my Instagram has been somewhat growing a little bit and I'm like you now I've been saying I want to do all this stuff like oh I want to start a YouTube channel and I want to um, you know grow on Instagram and really take this influencer thing to another level and I can't do that being lazy and being in my you know in my head basically not my feelings but like in my head like like I'll set out like I, I pretty much made up like like a schedule as far as like um, what I'm gonna do when recording videos or what videos I'm gonna record and on what days like I have this whole schedule written out or whatever and sometimes I just won't do it like I might, I might start a video or record a video or whatever and then be like, oh, I don't like it and overthink it and that's not good. And I'm not going to speak that over my life right now and I say, oh, I'm a procrastinator. No, I have had pretty much like a history of like overthinking. Oh, and this is uh, 
the LA Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Fawn. I just use this underneath my brow and then I kind of highlight with it a little bit. You'll see. But yeah, um, yeah, I can sometimes procrastinate and that's not good. And, you know, overthinking leads to procrastinating, which is just dumb. So, I have to hold myself accountable and stop doing those things that are hindering me. Um, because, you know, I know that this is something that, you know, I not just I want to do and I've, I've never wanted to just be like oh an influencer because you know I see people making money I naturally like to create um I'm a makeup artist and a licensed esthetician and I've only been a licensed esthetician for about three years and then I've been doing makeup for about, I don't know, a little over 12 years. And, you know, it's just something that I gravitated towards naturally. And I've always been into things that are creative and artsy and whatnot. And my, as, as I was growing up, I always, you know, was into like art and things like that. And when I got to high school, I loved doing, uh, I took a, an art and, uh, or television and film class or something like that. And I loved it. I loved it so much. And I wanted to go to school for television production. And I didn't because I had in my mind, I'm from a small town. And then when you don't have the, you don't know what you don't know. And when you don't have the encouragement to, you know, pretty much follow a dream, you just figure, oh, I, I, I won't be able to do anything with this. I probably won't make any good money with this. Or I'll probably struggle trying to get into the industry or, you know, just overthinking and not being as positive as I should have been about it. But um, nonetheless... Hey, I didn't go to school for that, which I would have loved to, but this is pretty much just like another creative outlet. So yeah, that's that girl. Gotta make sure they even girl. I know they twin, they sisters are not twins, but they can't be looking like cousins now. Now I'm going to conceal the top of my eyebrows and I do that using my foundation um, just so I won't look all, you know, extra bright and crazy and whatnot. Because that's just not my style, girl. So what y'all been up to? Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. So, like I said, like I've got YouTube or whatever and I got Instagram and I have lately really been contemplating on deleting all my social media everything except for um instagram instagram not sorry not instagram um youtube and um pinterest and like to know it i just feel like my face has been breaking out too lately here i don't know why yeah um i've really been thinking about deleting all of my social media um, it's just so distracting and like I'm a single mom and you know what I'm saying I work five days a week Monday through Friday and I sometimes just you know I just don't have the time and I feel like it consumes my time and it's ridiculous.
I don't like this brush. So we're going to switch. This brush kind of sucks. It's too soft. I like a dense brush. But yeah, I can't be the only one with that thought. Like, social media is a lot. And I'm just getting started with YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But I, I would prefer YouTube over anything else like I said it's uh, um, I've always wanted to go to school for television and film and whatnot and production and it's not like I don't want to you know start that now like oh I want to create a film or I want to do movies no I just I feel like if I can create right here on YouTube you know what I'm saying this is my own little platform that I can do whatever I want to do on create whatever type of videos I want to create and you know it's something creative I'm able to do other things that I love to do with it I love fashion I love you know beauty makeup anything to do with like um, lifestyle and motherhood things and parenting things stuff like that traveling I can do all those things right here on my own YouTube channel I ain't got to go audition for it <laughs> or not you know what I'm saying I'm not an actress but I don't have to like uh, you know create a film and submit it or whatever for approval and trying to get a show picked up and all that jazz you know I can just do my thing on my own YouTube channel and have fun with it and that's just that on that. So yeah. Like I said, a lot of people get seasonal depression. Um, it's, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. And, you know, having that issue can lead you to being lazy, for lack of better words. Being lazy, procrastinating. That's not good because you miss out. And, you know, like I constantly have thoughts like, oh, I could be doing this right now. I could be making this video. And just can't pry myself off the couch. <laughs> like I'll come home from work. Um, if I don't have my gym clothes with me, I'll come home from work, get my gym clothes on. Me and my daughter will hop in the car and go to the gym. I'll come back home, take me a quick shower. I'll be having time. I could be doing anything productive and creative if I'm not, you know, cleaning up or something like that real quick, finishing laundry. I'm on the couch. I am on the sofa doing nothing. Girl, I'll be tired. I'll be tired. And this foundation look crazy, but it ain't going to look like this for long. Give me a minute. I look like what's the white man off Martin when Martin dressed up like that white dude that's who I look like right now not cute now I'm going to hot highlight excuse me and I highlight with I'll take that same LA girl pro concealer and I'll use it right here and yeah y'all don't have to do y'all makeup like me this is just how I do mine this is what works for me and then I take this is the NARS. Um, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the color Valencia. And I just take a tiny little dab. I mean, a tiny, teeny, tiniest little dab there and put it on the top of the bottle. And I take a teeny, tiny little. 
because a little bit goes a long way and I want to be highlighted but not like ridiculously bright it's not a photo shoot I'm just going to work I'm just going to work girl but it's my birthday so I'm about to be cute period I'm getting up there y'all I'm getting up there in age I'm not ashamed how old I am girl but I'm 30 something and I'm getting really close to the 40 club but that is okay because let's be honest some of us women that are in our in the 30 something club or close to 40 something or in the 40 something club looking younger than these 20 something year old girls walk around here looking like little old ladies I don't know what's up with that I don't know maybe it's all the the, the extraness because you know what I'm saying? Coming up when I was younger, I just realized I was buffing it in with the wrong brush. I like to use this one. This is the... What is this? Um, well, it says it's a deluxe crease brush, but y'all, I don't use it for that. This is one of the Real Technique brushes. I love these brushes for blending in. And it's supposedly it's supposed to be for a crease, but this is, this, is, this is a big ass crease brush. Sorry. I use it to blend in my uh, concealer. Thank you very much. I don't use a beauty blender too often anymore. I've, I've started to gravitate towards my brushes again, probably over like the last two years. I haven't really been using my beauty blenders as often. I only use them every once in a while, like for small things you'll see, but constantly, <laughs> nah, not at all. So yeah, I'm going to hold myself accountable and I always have multiple brushes in my hand. I, it's just a makeup artist thing. Y'all know, if you're a makeup artist, you know, you could be working on something else and you got like 30 brushes in in one hand while you're working with the right hand. I do it all the time. Why am I holding these brushes? No reason. Just to be holding them, girl. Just blending in what's left over on towards the ed the edges and going upward. Upward. We want to be you know, we want to be blended in well. We want to be um what's the word? We want to be put very tight. We don't want to look like we're sagging. We want to look like everything is going up and it's stuck. But like I said, we're getting up there, baby. We're trying to maintain this child. And I got these bags. <laughs> tired. I told y'all I'll be tired. Tired, girl. I'll be tired. I'm working all the time, girl. I got somebody calling me mama, girl. Running around here howling, calling me mama. Always needing something. Always got to pay for something. Always got to sign something. Somebody always got a field trip. So yeah, like with this whole YouTube thing, I do want to take it to another level. I would like to grow my channel and just put some more creative content on here for you guys and not just you know what I'm saying just throwing out anything and doing random I don't like like to each their own but I don't like those videos where people like literally just randomly throwing out dumb videos just to put out content like if I don't have any nice content to bring to you guys like this is what I use my beauty blender for um if I don't have any you know what I'm saying nice content to bring to you to you guys I, I feel like what's the purpose what's the purpose of me getting on here making a video if it's gonna be stupid and 
about anything random. Like, just dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing that. Like, potato chip challenge. Like, you, you'll never see a video like that from me. Ever. Um, <laughs> hot, ch hot noodle challenge. Girl, bye. This ain't that. <laughs> ain't doing it. Uh-uh. But, like I said, I do love all things fashion and girly things and motherhood things. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier. And I don't necessarily bake, like, for a long time. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder that I'm using. And I just use like I take my this is um, the, one of the real techniques brushes this is the setting brush and I just set my powder using this I like this better than using a beauty blender Preferably. I used to use my beauty blender for everything. I know a lot of us did. Especially when they first came out and they're super popular. Everybody's using a beauty blender, child. Everybody. For everything. They even made the little ones so using like, oh, use this to contour your nose with a little girl. Just stupid stuff. I wouldn't feed into that crap. I was like, I am not buying that I will squeeze the hell out of the tip of this to get into small spaces before I go buy one of those little beauty blenders like that's just ridiculous it's another way for them to make a coin and this show enough was working child because people was buying it just take a little bit on my t-zone and I don't leave this to sit for long. I pretty much brush it off like almost right away because I ain't got time to walk around here looking extra powder me. This is not a red carpet event, child. This is work. It's work. Okay? Work. So then I just take pretty much that same brush and just dust off wherever I put that highlight or that translucent powder. I don't let it sit for too long. I just lightly dust it off. I've been doing my makeup like this for a long time. Simple, quick, and easy. And I get a lot of compliments on it. It certainly ain't no 10 minute makeup routine, but uh, it gets the job done. And you still be cute, girl. You still be cute. This piece of hair don't go somewhere. From this wig child. Y'all, I've been into these wigs lately. I've been getting me some good wigs. I got this wig from uh, Divas Wigs. And I like it. This is just a 5x5 five five closure wig. I've never had a like a full lace wig before. But I might try them. Okay, and so for my contour, like sometimes I'll go in with uh, one of my other shades of the NARS um, Natural Radiant Foundations in a darker shade or whatever. And I'll, you know, do my contouring with that. And then go in with a powder on top of it. But I'm just going to work. So I'm not trying to, you know, be extra. So I'm using my, um, what is this? This is the Black Radiance palette. I, I use, I mix the two. So I'll use the, the light to medium. And then I'll also use the medium to dark palettes. And so what I'll do is I'll take... 
me show you. I'll take um, this color here, girl. This it didn't hit pan. Both of them they didn't hit pan. I use the sculpt color and this one up here, which is sculpt slash sculptor, whatever. I mix those two, and then I'm mixing a little bit of this contour shade here on the end. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like to use a uh I don't know why. I, I like to use a um this is a uh well it says contour brush, but my blush brush looks the same way. So yeah. Just go in around my hairline without messing up my hair. I usually take that darker shade, the darkest shade, and put that one closest to my hairline. And by my brow and whatnot. And then I'll take those two lighter shades I showed you. And those will kind of go towards like the middle. Like right where that darker shade ends. So it's kind of it's doing darker to lighter like, whoosh, like going inward or whatever. If you get my drift, I'm sure you do. And then same thing when I'm contouring my cheeks. I'll take that dark color and I'll mix it with the sculpt color here in the center. And I'll start right there. Right there where that, you know, that that you know line of demarcation or whatever, where your where your cheekbones begin. And I have pretty high cheekbones and you see, without me even having a contour, there's a line there automatically anyway. So I've been blessed by my mama with these cheekbones, child. And I just go in a circular motion, and then I go kind of like in a swoop. I've been, and then I kind of like blend up in a circle. Because, I mean, to each their own, but I don't like when people just contour like this. I feel like it leaves a line. You can see it. It, it just doesn't look smooth, and I don't like it. It's just, you know, my preference. But that's their business. That's their business, girl. It ain't none of my business. You do you, boo, and I do me. See, now I got some color to my face. I don't look like one of the Adams family members. Girl, looking like I could be a part of the Adams family, bro. What time is it? I gotta wake my child up in about 15 minutes, girl. She gotta get ready for school. I was gonna take my birthday off, but I decided not to because my birthday fell on a Wednesday, so. I'm like, hmm, what I will do is take off Friday. <laughs> Sound and popping on Friday. Okay, and then I'll take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I will dip the end of my uh, beauty blender in it and then I will go along underneath my cheekbones and highlight underneath that area. And I only let that sit for a couple seconds. I don't like to like it to sit for too long because when you try to dust it off, I feel like you can still see it, and I don't like that. I 
I do not like that. Boom, like that there. Look like a whole beard. Y'all like that? Y'all like this girl? Cute. Mm-hmm. They just dust that on off, girl. Dust that thing on off. Mm-hmm. I don't like to let it sit too long now, shot. to my nose see I've highlighted my nose I don't I don't let that sit for too long either y'all yeah, over here making a mess who told me to do my makeup in my room I do my makeup in the bathroom in the bathroom mirror. I like to stand up and be right there in the bathroom mirror, child. And then I will take that same powder in that sculpt color and contour my honker, my nose. Just dust off that excess powder. Y'all yeah, wait till I get to work. My coworkers gonna be like, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. Oh my god, you're so pretty. Oh, you're wearing makeup. That's how I'm gonna ugly without it. I don't take it personal. I just be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I really be like, girl, you have no idea. <laughs> this is just a little, uh, you know what I'm saying? A little zhuzh. A little rum rum, scoom boom boom. A little shink that ain't. That's it. It don't be it don't be too much. Cause I can really hurt some feelings. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Yeah, I've never been the best at contouring my nose. But I do what I can do when I can do it. I don't wear eyeshadow. Like, I'll, I'll, you know, of course, put eyeshadow on my clients. But I don't put eyeshadow on myself. I just don't like it. I used to. And then I just, I stopped wearing it. And I was I didn't care to wear it anymore like I was wearing eyeshadow you know like back in like 2010 11 when like people were like really into like vibrant you know and, and elaborate eyeshadow uh, eyeshadow looks and whatnot like on YouTube and social media and stuff and it was just cut creases and all girl ain't nobody got time for that I do not I ain't got time for none of that. Not at all. Too old for that. And it's cute sometimes, but mm -mm. the natural, the better. The more natural, the better. It looks prettier. It looks classier. It's more timeless. And I can wear a natural face and wear a natural lip and still be cute or pop on a red lip or whatever color and be super cute. And I ain't got time to be putting on all this elaborate eyeshadow and winged eyeliner. I'll do that on you. Not on me. I'm gonna put my or use my uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this stuff. If I don't use this, I will use Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So I'll usually keep both of them on hand, but whenever I want, run out of one of them. Somebody's on deck. 
Somebody is on deck, honey. And then I will go in with my, oops. And then I'll go in with my Juvia's Place. This is the, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. And I will use this orange color here and I'll sometimes mix it with like this peachy color so yeah and I'll use that same brush that I contoured with and I'll just go and brush, put a little bit on my wrist so I don't have too much on the brush just to bring a little color back to my face I don't put too much though Sometimes you can't even see. You be like, girl, why why are you even bothering? You can't nobody see that. But I know it's there. And you know what else? I really haven't been into highlighting like with a highlighter. Like shimmer like i haven't been into that i'm like a nice cute matte look i might put a highlight like a small amount on the tip of my nose a little bit you know there on the bridge of my nose a little bit on the cupid's bow and that's another thing the cupid's bow hmm, who's gonna know how would they know you can't even tell it's there i don't know i don't know who said to put highlight right there but can't nobody see that Unless you're going overboard like some of these girls be doing. Like, why you got... Why you got... Uh, freaking street lines on your face. Like, airplane signals on your face. An exclamation point on your nose. Highlight all up in here. And a girl... Mm -mm, just a dab. Literally. A dab. And then I just do a tiny little spot there. I don't even drag it down. I don't like that. Just a little bit. I know what's there. And if I do do a highlight, which a lot of times I don't anymore. Oh, and then also I'm using, this is my MAC Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Okay, so I'll use that. And I'll take a little bit on like a fan brush and I'll there and there and, and that's it but not today we ain't doing that Just a little bit on my nose oh wait let's forget let's not forget the cupid's bow that no one can see <laughs> let's do that because when i put these lips on it's gonna be gone can't nobody see that so i'm back i got my lashes on and i put on my mascara i used the l'oreal paris telescopic mascara and i think it's as black as black yeah black is black and i love it i've been using this been like my my go-to for like the last seven eight years probably longer um so i'm just going to do my lips really quick i'm going to do a nice natural lip color um oh and then my lashes um i got these from china i can't even tell you what style whatever they are I, I ordered these from like Alibaba and I got a huge box of them I use them for my clients I got some for them and then I got a stash for myself yes but um they're super cute I love them I used to waste a lot of money going to like the beauty supply store and buying lashes and I ain't doing that no more I got time for that so uh yeah I'm gonna go in with my uh, this is my trusty old Mac chestnut lip liner and uh juvia's place what is this mademoiselle it's like a nude color um and i usually just use like a makeup brush with this that's why it's all broken off or whatever so yeah this is the juvia's place mademoiselle mademoiselle So that's that and then my MAC chestnut lip pencil and I kind of go over my top lip just a little bit not too much I 
I ain't trying to be walking around here looking like I just got injections done. Too much Juvederm, child. Kind of blend them in a little bit. Like so, like that. Like Miss Tabitha says, like so, like that. Like so, like that. And then I will go in with my Juvia's Place lipstick. And I sometimes I love to use like a clear gloss on top of my nude lip or um, Oyster Girl. Oh no, Boy Bait by Mac. That is my favorite. But since I'm I'm going to work and I'm going to be wearing a mask. I don't like for my lip gloss to be sticking to my mask and mm, it's just it's irritating ain't nobody got time for that look at that mm -hmm. and you just blend it in girl like so like that Like so, like that. Boom. Makeup done, girl. Hair did grow. Makeup done, girl. So, yes, that's the end of my tutorial slash rant about nothing. But, um, y'all got to see how I do my makeup. And, um, I might do some, you know, some get ready with me's or some story time videos mm-hmm you know and I can do my makeup doing those too sometimes um but it's gonna be the same look nine times out of ten um just gonna get a new lip color maybe a fuller lash depending on where I'm going but that's it so yeah that is it for today's video I will see you guys in the next one I appreciate you guys coming back and tuning into my channel thank you all for watching bye girl